underestimation kills, destroys, and helps people succeed. Everyday KT220. Why am I live and holding this thing? Daddy, come here. That little dog. Right there. Let me see if I can get this to work right. See that little dog right there? That little dog. I underestimated the hell out of that dog. KT here, everyday KT 220, I said. So, underestimation. I apologize, there were a couple of folks expecting me to show you how to wash a kilt properly tonight. Ah, uh, that goes tomorrow because of what happened today. So, underestimation. Today, I made a huge underestimation and paying the price for it. So, that little dog, 35, 40 pounds or so. Um... Just got him yesterday, and as of you, those of you who know, we our previous dog was somewhere north of 135 pounds. A beast of a dog. So, we had the dog in our laundry room, the old dog. Tried to break out, made a door. It's about two inch thick planks, and on caster wheels, had it all worked, everything was fine. Never got out. Never had any problems at all. That little 35-pound dog escaped yesterday over the door. So today, put the door up, closed the, the uh, shutter-style doors behind the big thick one that, on caster wheels. And then we, I uh, used a big carabiner to hold the door latches closed. The rolling door that we had made was inside the room. The door latches were bent, physically bent, a good quarter inch in on each side from that little 35-pound dog. So, underestimation is, can hit epically foobar everything you're doing if you actually underestimate the wrong person, or in my case, the wrong dog. This dog, significantly stronger than I thought. That's fine. Um... My we're, they're, we're, girlfriend's out getting a, a, a crate right now, and uh, hopefully that'll work because I don't want to have to MacGyver slash Tim the Toolman tailor my whole house tonight. So how does that underestimation apply to us people wearing kilts, business, life, whatever? The exact same thing applies. Looks give you no indication of what you're dealing with talked about this a couple of weeks ago you know you walk up you see a huge biker is he a big huge badass who's gonna crush you or is he a teddy bear wearing a leather vest with a patch on the back you don't know the little short guy who's just sitting there in the corner is he just a wallflower or is he a 17,000th degree black belt ninja jedi who can kill you by looking at you funny you don't know Underestimation. Now, what's the upside of underestimation? It's if you're the one being underestimated. If you're the one being underestimated, you have a significant advantage. Doesn't matter if it's at life, if it's at work, business, play especially. You never know. You always see when somebody shows up and they've got this little person, the, the little guy, or, and I always, I say the little guy because, you know, sports teams, Generally, the ones that you got to watch out for are the bigger ones. But little guy shows up, the ringer. Maybe he's got a 99-mile-an-hour fastball. He could throw a curveball so, so crazy it'll tie your shoes. You never know. So you have to be careful. Now, in business, if you're the one being underestimated, enormous advantage. Because obviously you know something, you can do something, or you're able to understand something that your competition has no idea about massive massive advantage so keep that to yourself and you use it sparingly but you use it where you need to and where you can now the other thing we have to talk about here is the underestimation guy in a kill you know general consensus throws trees don't piss him off or weird guy who's over there in the skirt generally those are the two realms where people fall underestimate and judge men in kilts so huge advantage because 
You could be a rocket scientist, but because you're wearing a kilt, everybody ignores you or they poo-poo your abilities. And then you come out and say, hey, look what I did. I just cured cancer. Underestimation. So you, whoop, uh-oh, what's, what's going on here? Yes, it is the art of war for kilt. Physics? Physics we can work on. I, uh, Nathan, we'll, we'll talk about physics later. Um, art of war for kilts. I actually think that's a brilliant idea, John. Uh, one of the guys commenting here on the Facebook Live video. So, underestimation. So, to quote the art of war, Sun Tzu, for those of you who, do know, who know, he who knows himself and not his enemy will win nothing. He who knows his enemy and not himself may win the battle. Actually, I think I might have those two backwards. I don't know. But, he who knows himself and knows his enemy will win every single war. Why is that, you say? You know the enemy's strengths and their weaknesses. You know your own strengths and your own weaknesses. If you can capitalize on both of those, you're not going to lose. It just doesn't happen. Unless you're Gomer Pyle, it won't happen. You will win every single time. So, underestimation. Never, ever, ever underestimate somebody's abilities. More often than not, they will not only surprise the hell out of you, but possibly make you look really foolish. So, watch. Just do not underestimate. Because, you know, I'm about to go in and build a crate that is probably 10 square feet because of that little dog. So, with that, um, I know that they're loading stuff up into the house. So... I'm going to open up a Kiltology, and if we're lucky, it's a good one, and if we're not, I'm, I'll i just uh, let it go. Nope, nothing there. So, well, yeah, okay, so, talk about under, underestimating. Kiltology number 376, volume 2 on Amazon. Badass. You are, by definition, a badass if you're wearing a kilt. No point in arguing. It is simple. It is simply a statement of fact. No amount of tattoos, scars, change, or attitude will make someone wearing pants more badass than a guy in a kilt. Accept your badassness and just move on. Military first responders, doubly so. Even if you don't have a kilt. So, how does that apply to the underestimating? Imagine walking up and seeing Bruce Lee wearing regular street clothes. He is the only man alive who beat Chuck Norris. Badass. Unless he takes his shirt off, does he look like anything significantly dangerous? If you knew him, yeah. Otherwise, he's just another guy on the road. You never know. But... He's a badass. And if you underestimate a badass, especially one who is significantly stronger than you in whatever it is that you're underestimating him, you're screwed. So, remember, do not underestimate people. Things, or in my case, small dogs. It will screw you. He will bite you in the ass and you will not be happy about it. So, go out there. Have a good time. Uh, maybe get some shenanigans in. It is hump day, so go do something cool. And as always, be strong. Put a kilt on.